Hello! Welcome back to my channel. This is Alex Mary Sewing Tutorials. I am so happy to be here this week. This is a remake video. Last week my video was, the audio was really poor. I had a cold. I couldn't even hear myself. So I, I redid this video for you because I want to give you the best. So thanks for watching. So today's video is about sewing machines. What kind of sewing machine you should buy as a beginner so that you don't waste your money unnecessarily. The first two things you should ask yourself is what are you going to be sewing and how much do you have to spend? So depending on these two criteria, then you know what you should buy. So see you after the break. The first machine we have up is your vintage style mechanical sewing machine. It's I call it vintage style because you can actually just buy them brand new. So first of all, it has an all metal body. It's one whole cast shape like that. And then it has a stitch length selector, which is also the reverse lever. It can sew in reverse. In front, you just have your tension disc and your thread guides. And at the back, you have your bobbin winder and stop motion screw. It's a very basic design. And as you can see, it has a very large bed. So there's a lot of space for your work. And it's a single needle, straight stitch only machine. The bobbin is underneath. It's a side loading metallic bobbin and goes underneath the machine. And at the back, you can have the option of attaching a motor for sewing instead of using the treadle. And that's all it, there is for this machine, basic and classic. Next machine is our electrical mechanical machine. The real difference is that the exterior is plastic and the motor is on the inside and that's it really. All the functions are mechanical. Now you can see it usually has some preset stitches. You can do straight stitches and zigzag stitches. It has a tension knob on top and the bobbin winder on top. You can see the tension settings are preset. You only have to turn the numbers, so that makes it very easy. It has a small neck space or third space, so it can't really hold bulky things. It does both straight and zigzag stitches, so it has a wider um, needle plate there. And it does reverse stitches just to lock your stitches. It does so continuously in reverse. That's the bobbin winder, again, so you can wind your bobbins very fast. Here we have the hand wheel, the stitch selector, so it's a very simple machine. It has an accessory straight for a few accessories. The bobbin is underneath and it has a free arm function, which means you can make the bed smaller to sew. Next, we have your electronic computerized sewing machine. It has a CPU inside, so most of the functions are automatic. It has a plastic exterior with a metallic frame interior and the motor is also on the inside. It usually has some type of LCD screen or digital output and a keypad for quick selection of functions. It also has an automatic bobbin winder. It has a wide selection of stitches like most modern machines. And it also does straight and zigzag and decorative stitches. The bobbin is top loading and it goes in from on top, usually a large plastic bobbin. It also has quick select buttons for quick functions like cutting your thread and speeding up the machine. On the side, you can see you can plug it and it has a hand wheel. It also has an accessory tray that you can remove and it has a free arm function which allows you to sew smaller things like sleeves or trouser legs and what have you. Finally, we have the industrial sewing machine which is completely mechanical and it's really fast. It has a metal exterior, a metal interior, and has all the metallic parts. As you can see, it has a very large bed space, a lot of space, and a lot of room. It's always attached to a table. This is a tension knob. Tension settings are all done manually. It has space for two large thread spools, as you can see. Underneath is the motor, either a clutch motor or a servo motor, so it can be very noisy. You have the pedal and the knee lifter under the table, too. On the side, you can see the stitch selector, the hand wheel, and the bobbin winder, and it also has the reverse lever. It's a straight stitch only machine, and underneath the needle plate is where you have the bobbin. It uses a metallic bobbin, as you can see. 
Finally, if we lift the head up, you can see the oil tray and this particular model is self-lubricating. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. The next video coming up is about setting up your sewing machines and getting it ready to sew. So I hope I see you next week. Please like, share, subscribe, and thank you to all my new subscribers. Happy to have you. Bye.